So my name is Clive Mono Mukundu. I'm a Zimbabwean guitarist and a music producer. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, chords, uh, whether it's uh, guitar chords or keyboard chords. Um, what we want to do is to dis demystify the theory behind uh, music chords. Um, where do the names come from? Uh, we know we have uh, complicated chords like uh, sixth, ninth, thirteenth, uh, such chords like uh, minor seven, flat five. Um, where do those names come from? That's uh, that's the main uh, topic of today. So, um, if you check all those names, they've got uh, numerical names like uh, the ninth, uh, the sixth, uh, the fifth, uh, the all, all those names. They, there is a number somewhere. So the main purpose of this uh, tutorial is to find out where the numbers come from. Um, so to begin with, um, you need to know your major scale. And uh, every serious musician has to know his major scale. And uh, talking of the major scale, on guitar in the key of C, this is the major scale, starting from string number four. Let me take it again. Um, to, do, to those of you who did uh, choral music, I know you did um, the tonic sofa, do, re, mi, va, so, la, ti, do. So, if you put uh, numbers to those, uh, to those uh, degrees in the scale, you find that you come up to, to eight, you come up with eight numbers. So do is one, re is two, mi is three, up to up to eight. So uh, that's where the names of the chords come from. So um, we're going to start with the simplest uh, and the most common chord of all, which is the major chord. And uh, everything we're going to do, we're going to do it in the key of C. Um, the major chord formula for a major chord, or the formula for a major chord, it's one, three, five. So what it means is uh, you play your do, you play your mi, you play your so. So in the key of C, in the key of C, that will be D E F. G, A, B, C. In the key of C, you'll be holding your C, your E, and your G. So, I'm going to demonstrate it on the guitar. Like I said, uh, the formula for a major chord is 1, 3, 5. So, you hold the first note of the major scale, the third one, and the fifth one. And then you get your chord, your C chord. So, in the... Key of C on guitar, here's the one, here's the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do, re, mi, va, so, la, ti, do. So you pick the one, here's the two, so the three is here, the four is here, the five is there. So here's your one, here's your th three, here's your five. There you have it. That's how you get your major chord. It's one, three, and five. Let me take it again. This is the one, this is the three, this is the five. Do, re, mi, mi is the third one. Fa, so, so is the fifth. Do, re, mi, fa, so. That's how you get your one, three, five. Now moving forward, we are going to go to the next uh, most commonly used chord, which is a minor chord. Um, the formula for a minor chord is um, one, flat three, five. When it's written, it's like this. One, flat three, five. What it means, uh, Every time you encounter this symbol, 
flat it means you lower the note one step down downwards if you are holding this note if you are told to flatten it you just move one step lower so what it means is uh, we go back to that um, major chord and then we look for the three because the flat is placed on the three so we are supposed to flatten the third so where is our third do re mi so the third is here so what you need to do is to place it one note lower so you place it there so my one is still on the same position my five is still on the same position but the third has been moved one step lower so it will sound like this that's how you get your minor chord uh, back to our diagram you play your do which is your c you go to the third one which is uh, e uh, your fifth which is your so what you do is you flatten the me so if you if we are good if you were to go on the keyboard um, the major scale in the key of c is do, re, mi, ba, so, la, di, do. so you look for the one for the three for the five and then you have your your major chord so for you to get your minor you need to flatten the third where is our third our third is here so flattening is going one step downwards so you place it there so that's how you have your your c minor uh, in fact the history of the word minor chord um, they say originally it was called uh, a chord with a lesser third or a chord with a minor third so later on it was just shortened to minor that's how you that's the theory behind the the minor chord okay we now move forward to to the chord known as the sixth um usually chord formulas they usually deal with the odd numbers unless if there's an even number which is mentioned in the name of the chord like in the case of uh, the sixth so the formula for the sixth is um, one three five six as you see we just move with um, odd numbers and uh, we have included an even number because it's part of the name of the chord so uh, you have your first your third your fifth and your sixth if we are to go back on the diagram in the key of c that will be your c your e your g and your a so i'm going to demonstrate it on the guitar so we already know where to find our first our third our fifth so we're going to look for the sixth so it's do re mi va so la on la is where you find your c so one two three four five six so make sure when you hold your chord you just make sure the sixth is not obstructed so it will sound like this that's how you get your sixth then on the keyboard one two three four five six our sixth is there so you just hold your c if you add the sixth note you've got your c sixth that's the theory behind the chord uh, we call a sixth okay now we're going to move to um, the seventh so the formula for a dominant seven is a uh, one three five flat seven yeah so what it means is you play your first note of the scale the third one the fifth one and then when you get to the seventh you flatten it and uh, if I say, as i said before if the seventh is here for you to flatten it you just need to move one step downwards that's how you flatten a note so we're going to look for for the seventh um do re mi fa sol la ti your t is your seventh 
So what you do is you flatten the seventh up to them. So I hold the um, the normal chord, which is a one, three, five, and then uh, I look for the flattened seventh, which is here. So if I play the chord like this, I've played a seventh. That's the what we call the dominant seventh. Um, I'm sure I've noticed that uh, there's been a, some kind of elimination was we had to skip the fifth because the fifth and the seventh are on the same string but uh, in this case since the chord is called the seventh it means the seventh has to be head it, it, must, it must not be obstructed okay so on the keyboard one two three four five six seven our seventh is here so if i'm to hold my major chord like this and then include the flattened seventh I, that's where I get my seventh. So in this case, I'm holding a C seventh or a C dominant seventh. So that's about it. So we are going to talk about the major seven. The difference between uh, a major seventh and a seventh is on the seventh. The formula for a major seventh is one, three, five, seven. Which means the difference is you are not going to flatten the seventh. So let's look for the seventh note on the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can either get it there or get it there, but uh, the shape that I want to use is more comfortable if I use this one. So what I simply do is hold my major chord and include the the seventh note, make sure that it's not obstructed. That's how I get my seventh. So that's the difference between a major seventh and a seventh. And the symbol for a major seventh is a triangle. So if you find a chord written G in a small triangle like this, it means G major seven. Or at times it might be G M A J seven. It all depends. But basically, what um, the, the purpose of the lesson is for you to to know the theory behind um, the code formulas to dis demystify the code formulas. Then from the sevens, uh, we are going to move to um, the ninth. The ninth is a very popular code. Um, I know a lot of people love it a lot, uh, they use it a lot. Uh, I love reggae and I remember playing it, uh, the first time I played uh, the ninth was when I learned the song Jamming by Bob Marley. Okay, so the, the, the chord formula for the ninth, um, I think by now you, you can see that uh, if, a, if you are given a name of a chord, you just go with the odd numbers until you reach the the name of the chord. Like in this case, it's a ninth. So you just go with odd numbers until you reach up to nine. So there is a ninth, there is a major ninth. And the difference between a major ninth and a ninth is the same difference between uh, a seventh and a major seventh. It's all, it's all uh, it has something to do with the, with the seventh degree of the scale. So the formula for a ninth is one, three, five. We are going with odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. But if it's a ninth, you have to flatten the seven. This is the formula for a ninth. So this one is a bit difficult to hold. Um, if you are start, if you are. Uh, using uh, root four chords. Root four chords are chords which are uh, ends on the string number four. So, first of all, we need to locate the the ninth. So here's how we find the ninth. Because uh, as you know, the major scale is eight notes only. So you might be wondering where do you get the ninth when you have uh, eight notes uh, in the scale. Um, what you do is um, 
when you get up to eight, the do, re, the re on the higher octave is the one which is um, given the digit nine. So we go like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here is our ninth. Yeah. Since we are um, using four strings, um, and we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, we've got five notes uh, in the chord. What we now need to do is to to pinpoint or to pick out the most important elements of the chord that brings out the the essence of the chord. So in this case, uh, we have to pick the first, the third the seventh and the ninth so our first is here our third is there then the seventh is there do re mi fa so la ti so since we are using the flat seven it has to be there so one three flat seven and then the ninth is there do re mi fa so la ti do re that's where you find your ninth. So the chord is supposed to be like this. That's how you get your ninth. On the keyboard, it's the same thing. Here's your one, here's your three, here's your five, here's your flat seven, and your ninth is there. That's how you get your ninth on the keyboard the same way you get it on the guitar but if you want to get your major ninth is the same thing as we did on the seventh the formula it's one three five seven nine so that's how you get your major ninth and the major symbol for a major ninth is um, if it's in the key of C C major ninth so that's the theory behind um, those uh, few chords. I think you can uh, see that uh, the chord formulas are very easy to memorize. And uh, it's easier to memorize uh, chord formulas than to try to memorize a whole book uh, of chord diagrams. Okay. So next we are going to go on the augmented uh, the full name for an augmented chord is um, supposed to be augmented fifth. What it means is uh, the fifth degree of the scale is sharpened. Now, what do we mean by sharpening? Uh, sharpening is the opposite of flattening. Uh, if you are told to sharpen this note, or if you put a sharp sign on this note, it means you go up one step. Instead of going that direction whereby you'll be flattening, this time you'll be going upwards. So the formula for a augmented chord is one, three, sharp, five. So one, three, sharp, five. So this means that the fifth degree of the chord has to be sharpened. So in this case, the one is here. Do, re, mi. So the three is here. So this is the one, this is the three, this is the five. But since you are supposed to sharpen the five according to the name of the chord or according to the formula of the chord, the five has to be sharpened so the note will be will come up to there. So here's your one, here's your three, here's your five. That's how you get your C augmented. You can include this one as well. It's still one it's still the door so it's still one so you can hold it like this if you want if you want to simplify it you can hold it like that and um on the keyboard is the same thing here's your one here's your three here's your five but you want to sharpen the five so you take it up to there so this is your c augmented on the keyboard and uh one of the most um used chords on the guitar on the keyboard is uh, diminished the formula for a diminished it's a uh, one flat three flat five and if you want to make it a diminished seven you also include a 
flat seven. So you go back to your instrument. Here's your one. Here's your three. So you flatten the three. You need to flatten the three. You need to flatten the five. So in some instances, some chords will be difficult to follow them uh, the way they are written. So you need to maybe to invert them. You, you can start with the. In this case, you can start with the with the fifth before you go to the third. So here's the one. Do re mi va so. Here's the five. Then you flatten the five. Now we need to look for the third. So do re mi. The third is here, is here, but it's in this. It's on the same string as the fifth. So you need to look for a, for another position where you can get your third. So I will get my third there. Do re mi. It's still the third. So I can flatten it there. And then um, where do I get my seventh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my seventh is there. So I'll get my number one there. Flat five. And then uh, flat three. And my flat seven. There. That's how I get my diminished my diminished seventh. So the form the symbol for a diminished seven, if it's a diminished only or in the KLC. It's usually a small zero. If it's a DM7, you can put a 07 or, or DIM. It's still the same thing. On the keyboard, here's your 1, here's your 3, here's your 5, here's your 7. So to flatten the third, you, you go up to there. Then your fifth, that's 1 flat 3, flat 5, then you flat 7. That's how you get your, your diminished 7th um, diminished chord. So I think in terms of um, the tutorial for today, we can end it there, but uh, one thing you need to take note of, every time you hear the chord having a, the word minor, um, like uh, for example, Minor seven flat five, uh, G seven, uh, G minor seven, any any chord that is the word minor, it means you have to flatten the third. It means uh, the word minor has to do with the third degree of the scale, and um, if the name of the chord uh, has the word major, like major ninth, uh, major seventh, it means the seventh de seventh degree of the scale has to be. Um, it's not supposed to be flattened like uh, what you do in a dominant seventh. So I hope this uh, tutorial has been useful and uh, enjoy yourself, enjoy playing the guitar, enjoy playing all those complicated chords. Uh, you just need to do it slowly, slowly until it sticks in your brain. God bless you. Wow.